Hi, I'm Big John with Backstage 360. I'm here with the Greg Douglas Band at the uh, uh, theater here. We're going to be watching you guys perform. I've got Greg Douglas himself along with Rose. Wild Rose. Wild, Wild Rose. Rose. The Wild Rose, the lead, the, singer, Wild the, the lead singer of the band. And you guys yes. uh, are going to be playing a lot of music from your new album here tonight, right? Actually, that my new album is a side project that I put together with some other guys. Oh. This is equally or more important though because we're putting together a promotional video in today's market if you don't have a promo video you don't get booked into the big gigantic caesar's palace type gigs where they feed you filet mignon and i'm dead serious man i showed a woman i you know played her one of our tapes and uh, you know it's just a sound tape and she said you guys are fabulous but i can't book you <laughs> Just because you don't have a promo yeah, video. Now, is that, is that for them to use in their promotion of your, uh, of your show? Is that the purpose of it? No. I think there's two things at play here. First of all, I think they want to see that we are a serious enough band that we're going to sink time and money into doing this to promote ourselves. Okay. And I think there's sort of a psychological thing at play. And they actually, they want to see us. They want to see the band work together on stage they want to see the visual interplay they want as well as hearing us you know so they want to make sure that there's you know no uh, one-legged midgets running around <laughs> you know so well you know i saw one out in the parking lot that. earlier so i hope they don't let that one in well you know I well <laughs> with the, the you know with modern digital editing editing Editing? Editing. editing. We well, editing's on the, it's on the horizon. I've heard about editing. Well, but right now we'll talk about the editing. Okay. They can add a second leg. But that, that's, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's why we're here. And uh, it's a very exciting evening. A lot of exciting events have led up to our being here tonight. And, uh, you know, so we're going to get out. We've got our greatest fans. Right, we Rose. do, absolutely. Okay. We've got a pretty good fan base, and uh, it's a sellout crowd. So we're excited. Well, that's awesome. Now, tell me, uh, Rose and, and, and you guys, how long have you guys been working oh, together? Oh, gosh, what, three and a half years, about? Yeah, three yeah. and a half years. Yeah. And how did that relationship come about? Oh, geez, just on a fluke, actually. Yeah. Uh, we got thrown into a gig that was just kind of an impromptu thing, and we discovered each other. Yeah. And the rest, he goes, we're going to do a project someday together. And I'm going, yeah, well, like when? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And, uh, Put it on, man. <laughs> time is ticking into so, the future. Yeah, the, the, oh, that was no, good. I like that nice that little Steve good. Miller reference there because <laughs> yeah, yeah. we are we are talking yeah. with the guy hint, who hint. co That's what I was with. Like an eagle, like <laughs> now. Yeah. That's right. Oh, go ahead. You're the, you're the interviewer. You talk. Oh well, no, we're here for you because it's all about self-promotion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Shameless self-promotion. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what musicians do on a daily basis. Yes. So, but you're doing it at a higher level for for some of this. Like, is, so this steps beyond the corporate level. This steps beyond the playing the clubs. This is you're talking about like Vegas. You're talking about the big stuff. Yes. The, the grand and, and yes. all those appearances. So, and they so what else like other than this type of event, what else do you have to do to be a part of those type of venues? Um, like the, you, well, you, you have to, for, I mean, first of all, they want to, one of the things we're doing tonight is we're showing different permutations of the band. We're showing Rose and I together. As a duo. Okay. Just acoustic. Yeah. Oh, really? So yeah. you're gonna, you're actually gonna see just an acoustic set of you two yeah. playing guitar. Well, just a couple of tunes. Very so. brief. Okay. You know, we're showing different uh, configurations of the band. Okay. So all the different things that we can do. So what else are we gonna expect to see tonight? Anything different than the normal? We're gonna get, take it all the way down to one man, one guitar. I'll be playing some guitar, instrumental stuff. Uh, we're gonna do a trio where we have Hector, our drummer. Yes, I already met Hector earlier. Uh, Looking snazzy, my friend. Our fabulous drummer. <laughs> uh, Coming and thank you. Didn't say shit about my clothes. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't say that, can I? Um, no, th this isn't this isn't radio broadcast. Oh, this isn't radio broadcast. Want, oh, right. don't tell me that. So, <laughs> we okay. Anyway, so yes, we are. So we're going to show that, and then we're going to add Bob and Caroline who are, were, I was in a band with for years. Okay. Corporate band. And I learned so much from these guys about being a professional. Um, and I'm including them tonight to show how the band looks when we are expanded. And so with two female okay.
vocalist. Yes. And oh, you guys gonna, you have a, a, is it going to be a trade off like a duet? Yes. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to do some like rock a, and roll. Like a heart thing? We're going to do some Led yeah. Zeppelin, oh. actually. Ooh. And some, and some Linda Ronstadt. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's also, we're definitely seeing a smorgasbord of like 70s right. classic rock yeah. tonight. That's right. Yeah. And, then, and just to see everything Greg Douglas and the Greg Douglas band can be. That's, That's right. right. I like you it. You got it. Well, wait, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Is that Oh, hold on. Is that Rose Gill? Oh, 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 my, oh my gosh. Excuse me. Oh, excuse, excuse me. me. Sir, we're doing oh, excuse me, Greg Douglas. Excuse me. Excuse me, Greg Douglas. Thank you, Rose Gill. Oh, my God. It's the Rose sorry, Gill. Sorry, sorry. Who's uh, this guy? Uh, oh, whatever. I'm sorry. No, this, is, whatever, man. this is some weird yeah. dude. He does, uh, yes. yeah, don't, don't worry about him. Don't, um. There's, oh, there's a ham in every I'm crowd. I'm sorry. It was yeah, no, and that's a baked ham, I'm telling you. A baked ham. I could say something, but I will refrain. But again, we're not on radio, so we can, and, we can do whatever we want. And again, Rich, now it has now become the Hall of Shame. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So thank you. So you're bringing in two other people. Now, you, you said you work with in the corporate setting. Now, you work yes. with Joe, your bass player? Yes. You worked with him as well for 15 years in the corporate. Same band. So, same band. So the same people. So you're yeah. bringing basically bringing back the old corporate gig you had before. Right, we're bringing them in, and I'd, we'd love to use them on some gigs. We, we did a New Year's gig um, this year yeah. that was All of us. just was awesome. killer. Nice. And made me remember how great the chemistry was. And I, don't, you know, I have great chemistry with this band, and I had great chemistry with that band. So we kind of mixed it all together, and it became... It was a chemical... Yeah. Yeah. A chemical <laughs> imbalance. Yeah. Got it. It was a beautiful chemical imbalance. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Is... It was a chemical soup. <laughs> right. Okay, I think we're done here now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this we is. We got a uh, show to do. Yeah, we have a show. So we're, we're gonna have to let you get on stage here. You're gonna Are be performing late? in just a few uh, minutes. So. No, ten minutes. No, well, I'm okay, just. I'm right. just you still have now to do I'm, your hair. I still, just, yeah, I still have to do my hair exactly. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get out of here okay. and let you talk about the album. Okay. Like Goodbye, everybody. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. I'm All right. Ready. Well, you know, it is Rose Gill. <laughs> so, Greg, tell me about the new album that just recently dropped. When did it actually come out? Uh, the official drop date was April 28th. And what uh, what's the title of the album? It's called. The name of the band is Greg Douglas and the Accomplices. Okay. And it's called The Flight of the Golden Dragon. The Flight of the Golden Dragon. What inspired the title? Um, it's, it's a, the whole thing happened. I would, you know, once every 10 years, I do like, you know, an album of acoustic instrumentals. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of what I call my vanity album. This time I had some guitar tracks and a friend of mine who I'd worked with in another project called Mad Dogs and Englishmen. This guy does a, he nails Joe Cocker. Oh, wow. Turns out he's a great songwriter. And we co-wrote a bunch of tunes. Um, the guys that we used on that project, we brought in as a rhythm section, Larry Grano, uh, local drummer, and a guy named James East on, on bass. And we also brought in a guy named Gregory Douglas. I actually, you know, I was looking, trying to look more information up about your new CD, and I came across Gregory Douglas. Gregory, so is he affiliated with you now? He is now, he, he sang on a song called Shake Some Action by a group called the Flamin' Groovies. Okay. And a uh, 35-year-old kid, he's at the forefront of the gay singer-songwriter movement. Nice. And just a, a sweetheart of a guy, man. We, his parents came to the session. Oh, wow. And it was cool. So the album is getting absolute rave reviews. So it's like I've got two different things happening here. I've got this band, which I love. I've got that side project, which, which I also love. Greg uh, Douglas and the Accomplices. Greg Douglas and the Accomplices. And uh, you know, life is good, man. What can I tell you? Well, that's you know? awesome. You're still, you're still uh, you know, coming off of working with the, you know, Steve Miller and Hot Tune and all that stuff. That's what we have. That's what we know you from. Right. But you've been doing a lot of session music and, and session stuff as well. Are you still doing uh, the studio music work, the studio recording? Whenever people need me, I am there to back them up and make them sound better. And that's what I do really well. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give Joe Satriani nightmares. <laughs> uh, Richie Blackmore is not going to uh, grow pale when he sees my guitar chops. What's going to happen? What happens with me is I try to make people sound good. Right. And I succeed enough to where the phone keeps ringing. So. Well, and you also teach as far as uh, as much as you can, right? Selectively. 
selectively. selectively. I, I, you know, I. Uh, and people can apply at your website, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I had I had eighty people a week at one point. Oh and, wow. Yeah, I had, and I was you know had a lot of money, but I. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So. It's it's not always about the money. It's about it's about the everything else, right? Okay, it's about at the money. At this point, it is. No, it's about both. It's about both, man. But you know, it's nice to eat. You know. Yeah. I really love eating. Well, you look happy. You look healthy. Yeah, you look like I am you're having happy. a great time. I am. I am having and, a good time. And that's good. That's so, good. You're uh, you're you're living the dream. You're here right now in Carlsbad at the Carlsbad Theater, yeah. and we're gonna watch you and the Greg Douglas Band perform. We are gonna get right out, out here it. on stage. You're gonna be asked to go out, and uh, if I'm not mistaken. They're calling for you pretty soon. All right, so go ahead. So we'll carry this on. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you, guys. No, thank you so much, man. Right, it's such buddy. a pleasure talking okay. to you. We look forward to seeing the show. And we'll see you at the next gig. Huh? Yes, sir. For sure. Regular. All right. <laughs> All righty. I am uh, Big John here with Backstage 360. That was Greg Douglas leaving as early as possible. He's getting ready to go to the stage. And we'll be reviewing that album shortly. And uh, see you on the flip side.